In this video, I will introduce to you guys the Force 8 from Torotech. This is an 8 inch SPL subwoofer that's trying to earn itself some respect. This will be a complete unboxing. An honest opinion of its build quality and its specs will finalize this review with a free air demo and a 500 watt bench test. <laughs> Toro Tech debuted on this channel back in December of 2020. It was the Force 12 S that fulfilled my needs of a 2000 watt RMS competitor. Well, today I have the smallest of the Force lineup. This is the Force 8 from Toro Tech. They say big things sometimes come in small packages, and this video is one you won't regret. For your money, Toro provides a non-press, front-facing reinforced paper cone. But keep in mind the rear of the cone is pressed, which you will see in this inspection later on. The two and a half inch copper voice coil is protected by a customized dust cap. It is fairly strong and visually appealing with geometric shapes and raised lettering. The cone is supported by a high roll surround, which is ribbed to ensure linearity. It is secured with double red stitching and glue to increase its state of durability. Its cast aluminum basket is finished with an industrial texture, mostly black with a heavy duty look. And it also has color coded 10 gauge copper direct leads to ensure its power delivery. Its Nomex red spiders are progressively rolled and are stacked about a half inch apart. They seem strong to the touch and large in diameter to support 12 millimeters of X-Max. The rear of the magnet have a total of nine vents with the center pole measuring an inch and a half. Plenty of airflow to keep things cool during high SPL performances. A custom tooled rubber boot is branded with the engraving of the company's name. Underneath are dual stack strontium magnets weighing in at 130 ounces. I must say at first glance, with all these cosmetics, the Force 8 does look impressive. But looks are only one thing that's required of a subwoofer, let's see if it translates in a bench test. If you are enjoying this video and would like to learn a little bit more about how to simplify car audio, please consider clicking that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. To increase the value of my bench test, I have incorporated car audio components within my home and this is what it looks like. For right now, we have the Lenovo Flex that's going to be our media station. I'm not gonna be using the Blue Snowball microphone for sound today because this just is a basic bench test. Um, to generate sound, we're gonna be using the Pioneer DEH-150. This is any old radio or stereo you can get. This is not gonna be used today either. This is the DSP by Dayton Audio. All of this is gonna be incorporated in the future, just giving you guys a quick rundown of it. Any old amplifier would do in this home setup. This is the Power Acoustic Razor Series 1500D. And this right here, of course, is the star of the show, the Toro Force 8. And what we're gonna be doing here is uh, running this guy in parallel. This is a dual four configuration. So a parallel configuration will give you a two ohm configuration, which I believe most people will be running this guy in. The amplifier is stable at two ohms and our powerhouse or our alternator in this case is going to be the power max pm3120 this is a 120 amp uh ac to dc converter we're going to be using this to uh implement or indicate an alternator running inside of a car to to check our voltage and amperage we're going to be using this oscilloscope by luomi 
anything that you guys, I, I guess I'm saying that correctly, anything that you guys want to go and purchase for yourself, the links are in the descriptions below. Any AGM battery or sealed battery, lithium battery would do, car audio battery would do, as long as you don't have one that is vented. This is a sealed one. And as you guys can see, everything is fused as it would be in a car. To implement a car setup as much or as best I can in home. And later on, like I said, this will be printed up for you guys. But enough of that. We're going to be moving on now to the base sweep. As always, the base sweep is going to be from 150 hertz down to 20 hertz. This is to see at what frequency this thing is most responsive at. It has a FS of 45 hertz. We're going to see what this bench test proves to be the most responsive frequency for this subwoofer. This is running at about 500 watts. We just want to see how it moves. Wow. I say that looks impressive, guys. Very, very impressed with the movement of this. I think it looked best at 40 hertz. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be resetting the uh, tone generator to 40 hertz and see what it looks like. Woo! Look at a move. Wow. Man, that's about, that looks like about three, two and a half, three inches of throw. Guys, this is at least two and a half, three inches of throw coming out this thing, man. That is impressive excursion. Well, <laughs> what can I say, man? Hey, the video speaks for itself. This thing here can move some air. This this is an SPL subwoofer. Its job is to move a lot of air without destroying itself. And it looks to me like Toro picked some good soft parts for this subwoofer. And I'll be honest with you, the electrical suspension is looking very impressive as well. But look at the spiders. These are progressively rolled spiders. They are not even reaching their full potential. This thing is not maxing out at all, guys. It looks very, very comfortable at this uh, 500 watts or so that this that this amplifier is giving it free air. It did not smell. It did not bottom out. It didn't smell funny. It didn't sound funny. This thing is doing what it was designed to do. Okay, but as of right now, I want you guys to know the purpose of this bench test is for what you're seeing right now. What does that surround look like? What does your spider look like? This thing is not even reaching its full potential and it looks amazing. I am impressed. I am definitely impressed. Now, Toro claimed that this thing is supposed to get loud and low. I am going to test that in the next video. Thanks for visiting the channel to help you simplify car audio. It's the Budget Bass here and I'm out.